Station, this is Brad. How do you hear me? Hey, Brad, this is Nick. I've got you loud and clear. Welcome to the International Space Station. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very much. And now that I have you all the way up at the space station, let's talk about me. <laughs> I'd read astronauts um, uh, speak about looking back on the Earth and, and really being aware how insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. Did you have a similar experience or, or something different? You get a, a perspective that, that you know, you're away from the Earth. And, and in the same view, you can see the moon rising over the horizon, and you get this idea that, you know, I'm not on the Earth, and I'm, I'm, and I'm not, you know, at the moon, but I'm just kind of in the cosmos. And then that perspective really challenges you, because now you're looking down at everything that you've ever known, all of humanity right there, and you have this deep appreciation for how big the universe really is. And uh, for me, it's just made me cherish and appreciate how delicate and how precious the little island we live on really is. Uh, I think that's really beautiful to hear. Please tell me, what's a spacewalk like? But there are these special moments. I can remember one from my last uh, EVA where I was out on the very front of the, of the space station and it was getting ready to pack up a bag and come back inside and I looked up and, and there was just the earth, the curve of the earth and, and, and terrain coming underneath me and I could feel the speed of the station, you know, we're going 17,000 miles per hour through space and I could, it could feel the speed of that as I'm riding on the front just looking out over everything in front of us and it's just, uh, it, uh, the emotions that just wash over you are uh, just it, hard to describe. Amazing. Nick, last question, and I, I need to call on your expertise. Who is more believable, Clooney or Pitt? <laughs> you were, absolutely. <laughs>